Amen. Come on and show them some love. Amen. 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 Mount Nina youth. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We can do better than that. Come on and clap your hands. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for them. Amen. Amen. Blessing the Lord in songs. Amen. Remembering the Lord while they're young. God is good to us. Anybody happy today? Anybody glad to be saved today? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. There's a lot going on. So this is a good time. If you're not saved, to get saved. And if you is saved, stay saved. Amen. Amen. This is not the time. Amen. To be giving up. Amen. Turning back, looking sideways. This is the time to stand. Amen. Steal and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. God is good today. Amen. I honor my pastor again in his absence. Amen. My co-workers. Amen. Reverend Brooks, Reverend Butts, Reverend Tillman. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. God is so good. I just love to say that because God is so good. Amen. Amen. I praise him on today. Amen. God has been um, doing great things. Amen. And so we're going to get in the word. Amen. Because God has something to say to us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you go ahead and get you the scripture. Amen. Luke chapter 9. Amen. We will be coming from 23 to 27. Luke chapter 9. Verse 23 and 27. Amen. I'll let you go ahead and find that. Amen. And we're going to go in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you this morning. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. God, we thank you for this day, God, that you have created, God, just for us, God. We thank you, God, that you touched us, God, and breathed the breath of life into us one more time, God. God, we're so glad, God, God, because we understand you didn't have to do it, God, but we're so glad and so grateful this morning, God, that you breathed the breath of life into us one more time, God. God gave us another opportunity, God, to get our wrong right, God. Another opportunity, God, to dis display your glory in the land God we praise you this morning God we lift your name up on high God God we ask you to have your way in this house today let your spirit have free course God in the name of Jesus God we bind the hands of the enemy that may come to try to distract God try to disturb the move of you today God and we just thank you right now we loose your power in this place we loose your anointing in this place God we thank you God oh God that we have ears to hear what the spirit is about to say to our church God and we just give you glory right now God God bless your people God from the pulpit to the back toe God God those who are watching by social media God let this word meet them at the point of their need today God and we just bless your name God and we give you glory in Jesus name I pray amen let the church say amen today look at somebody and say it's turning point time Come on, look at somebody else and say it's turning point time. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's go to the word. Luke chapter 9, verse 23 through 27. Amen. God is good to us today. Hallelujah. You hear me say that a lot. God is good to us today. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 9, verse 23 through 27. Amen. Mine may read a little bit different. I have the NIV version. Amen. God is so wonderful. And it reads, Then he said to them all, If anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever will save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet loses or forfeit himself? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and in the glory of his Father and of the holy angels. But I tell you truly, there are some standing here who shall not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. God's word, turning point. You can take your seat. Amen. 
turning point. Amen. Amen. I, I, I heard that drop in my spirit. God said turning point. Amen. Now is a time for the body of Christ to do a turning point. Amen. We don't play church long enough. We don't have good religion long enough. Amen. We don't have our cheap thrill long enough. God said now is time for a turning point. And somebody said, what, what, what is that? Amen. It's where you make a significant change. It happens in you, glory to God. God's not looking for us now just to be churchgoers and church members. He's looking for the body of Christ to be changed from the inside out. And not only that, he's looking for us to display, amen, in our lifestyle that we know him and he know us. Oh, come on, somebody talk to me this morning. Amen, glory to God. A turning point can be for the better. Or it can be for the worse. Amen. That's why he said you choose whom you going to serve. Glory to God. So I praise him this morning. Amen. Because it's time for the church. Glory to God. Put your hands on yourself and say I am the church. It's time for the church to do a turn. Glory to God. It's time to turn. It's time to lay aside every weight and sin that's so easily besetting you. Glory to God. Amen. Not your brother, your sister, but what's going on with you? Uh, what's your problem? Why you ain't got up? Why you ain't obeying God? Come on. It's time for a turning point uh, in our lives. Glory to God. Amen. Living for Jesus. Amen. Uh, amen. It's the best thing that can ever happen to us. I said living for Jesus is the best thing that could ever happen to us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Because see, that's when the only, that's the only place to where we real happy at. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's when we real happy in Jesus. Amen. Outside of God. Amen. There's no peace. There's no happiness. Come on. Now, come on. There's no growth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Real happiness is in Jesus. And, and when we in Jesus, he adds to us. Amen. He don't take away. He adds to us. Hallelujah. So that's a consistent flow of growth in God. So if you're not growing today, there's something wrong. Amen. Amen. With your connection with God. Amen. We can't look at each other no more and say, oh, it's him and her and them. Uh-uh. We got to look at the man, the woman in the mirror and say, why, where am I coming up short at? Why? Why, God? What is my problem? Amen. Because God has made a way for us to escape already. Amen. Every temptation, everything that comes our way. God has already made a way for us to escape. You might well get with me this morning. Amen. Because it's nothing but the word. Glory to God. I ain't got nothing to say but the word. Glory to God. I ain't got no made up story this morning. I ain't got no fairy tale. Uh, but I got the word of God. Uh, that's the only thing uh, that's going to change mankind. Uh, that's the only thing uh, that's going to come against sin. Uh, that's the only thing uh, that's going to heal your body. The word. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah look at somebody says turning point time <laughs> glory to God uh, come on we can't be ashamed of God yes, come on we cannot be ashamed of God you know people really you don't believe people people really ashamed of God uh -huh, but they say I believe and I'm with him but you might meet him in Walmart and if you say praise the Lord it's uh, We only do that at church. We don't do that at Walmart. Come on. But the true believer praise God wherever they is. Wherever they be. They talk about him. They ain't scared to say his name. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. People, people are, 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 are ashamed of God. That's why sometimes people don't, you don't see the house overflowing with people. Because people got every other thing to do besides praise God. But besides seek God, they got everything going on, glory to God. You know how we can do, we can get overwhelmed with our life, glory to God, and what the world offers us, and our, our, our things, our plans, and that we'll sometime let God be on the back burner. But God said, turn today. There's a turning point for the body of Christ. He's calling. I, I heard God say there's a clarion call being made. He's calling for the body of Christ, amen, to come up. From where they are, glory to God. Uh, come on, he's calling for the body of Christ to wake up out of their sleep and slumber. Glory to God, there's a work to be done. Uh, don't you see how people dying left and right? Uh, 
people don't even have to be sick now. They lay down and don't get up. Come on, we ain't got time to play games at the foot of the cross no more. We ain't got time to play church. We ain't got time. Hallelujah. It's time to be real in God. If you ever been real, this is a time for you to be real. If you ever been saved, this is a time to stay saved. And if you're not saved, you better get saved. Get in a hurry. Glory to God. Some people, some people, glory to God. Uh, come on, they let social media, pressure of the social, uh, your education, they let pride, uh, they let fear uh, grip them to the point where they, uh, I only can go so far in God because uh, I don't know what people are going to think about me uh, and I don't know how they're going to look at me. Uh, who cares what they look like, glory to God. Uh, God, God saved you uh, and you only know uh, what he's done for you. Uh, you only know uh, what God has brought you through. Uh, so that's why your praise should be loud glory to God that's why your praise should be heard glory to God now hey 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 I'm telling you God is calling for the church to wake up now and get in a hurry glory to God judgment is coming it's already begun in the household of faith you already see the falling away glory to God because God's calling for the church to become whole. Come on, the church been sick for a long time. Come on, come on, there's been a disease in the church for a long time. And it's called sin. And God is tired of sin. He's tired of us walking in it. He's tired of us looking at it. He's tired of us talking about it. God is calling for the church to clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. He's calling us to clean it up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody is trying to see a light. Where's the light at? Where's the light at in the church? Where's the light at? You know, we sung that hymn uh, so many times. Somebody down in the valley trying to get home my god my god it's dark in the valley where's the light at how are they gonna get home and there's no light to guide them home glory to god we are the light and we should be guiding people to the kingdom come on not tearing them up not judging them not putting them down we should be guiding them to the kingdom Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, see, see what the word said. We can't do that unless we deny ourselves. Come on. This flesh got to die. Come on. Come on. He said uh, uh, what the word says. Become a living sacrifice. Come on. While we're living, we're supposed to be a living sacrifice. Holy. Come on. Come on. Holy. Come on. That's a cuss word in the church. Holy. Come on, hold it. Come on, you just can't do anything. You can't live any kind of way and say you are anointed by God and say you're called by God and you God's children. Come on, hold it. My God, God is requiring something from the church. Glory to God. He said judgment. It's nearer than when we think. Come on, and when we get to judgment, Revelation 20 talks about it. The judgment seat is where we're going to be rewarded for what we have done in this body and why we have done it in this body. See, he's the only one that knows our intent, our motive, why we do what we do. Come on, he know if we're real or not. He know if we love him or not. There's a lot of people say they love him. But when he look at our lifestyle, it don't add up, mother. It don't add up to what we say out of our mouth. And so, so the word said we say many things. We're going to say I love him. Oh, I'll go for you. I'll do it, God. But the words of your heart is so far away from me. Because when you love someone, you don't hurt them. When you love someone, come on, you go and see about them. 
when you love somebody, you take time with them. Come on, you fellowship with them. They hear from you on a daily basis. When you love someone, come on, judgment, judgment. It's not where you're going to be on trial like in court. There ain't going to be no jury that can decide whether you're guilty or not guilty. The facts will be already in. Come on, come on, come on. This is the word. Revelation said the facts are already in. Every day that he touched us and he breathed the breath of life into our body, the pen began to write. Everything we do, everything we say, come on. You think you, oh, no, no, nobody see me in Mount Ena. Come on, God sees you. Don't nobody hear me. Oh, come on, God, God hears you. You got to give an account for every word, every deed that you do in this body. Come on, now you won't, you won't be able to say, well, it was them, Jesus. Hold up now, let's talk about this. See, see, they made me act like that. And they made me do this. God said, but what did I say? Who was you serving? Come on, God, there's no, 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 no excuse for our action. Come on, because God has made a way for us to escape. And he's calling us to come back to real holiness. Come on, not the way you dress, but holiness in your heart. Come on, the devil is after your soul. Come on, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. He plays with that all day long. He never stops because he's trying to sub, sub, subdue it and conquer it. He wants to captivate you uh, to the point that you turn away from God. Uh, that you say, it ain't, it ain't worth going to church uh, and I ain't got to go. Uh, and you get complacent about going. Uh, I already know what's going to happen. Uh, I already know who's going to spree. I already know who's going to sing. They're going to sing the same song. Uh, I'll get there by 20 after. And I'll, come on, you know how we do. But we're missing the point that God is calling us. We're missing the point that God is calling the individual, the church. Come on, it's about you and God. If you're the first one here, come on, God is pleased with that. Come on, if you're the last one to leave, God is pleased with that. Don't look around. Come on, it's about you and God. It's about you and God judgment come on we need to make sure our name is in the book of life that's why we're living we're living to live again you got to die to yourself God ain't gonna receive nothing else you got to die to yourself and if you ain't willing to die look what he did he died for you and I and he's asking us to die to our flesh it ain't no good thing in it no way. Right. It's going to go back to which it came anyway. So why are we pampering this flesh so much? We dress it up. Yes. Come on, we make it up. Yes, and then we have a nerve to get uh, in our, 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 our emotions and think it is all that then some. <laughs> this nasty flesh that is an enemy to God. Do you understand what God is trying to get to us today? Come on. There's no good thing in the flesh. It's out to kill you. It's an instrument the devil can use to, to cause you to miss heaven. Come on. Got to deny yourself. Come on. You can't be ashamed of God. Come on. Deny yourself is going to take something. It's going to take you making a decision. We can't just say, no, God, I'm going. I'll go. You just send me. God said, that ain't good enough. I need to see the word in action. Okay. We don't talk the good game long enough. We have misrepresented God for so long that, you know, the, people, the devil ain't doing too much. He ain't got to do too much because the church doing it. Okay. Okay. The church doing it. 
So we, we, the devil ain't fighting and doing too much because the church now have turned their face from God and begin to lick their wounds and begin to go back to their vomit. There's a standard in God. God has a standard for his people. There is a difference between holy and unholy. Clean and unclean. Come on. God is calling for this ministry to be different. He needs somebody to stand for what is right. Our young people are being overtaken by so much today. I was talking to a young lady and they were talking about how she was talking about how these kids now minds just they're just out there. Kids thinking they're animals. And you got parents that's co-signing this stuff. They want rights to be in the school to have their own bathrooms because they think they're different. The world loves its own. Come on. And if the church don't rise up, what's going to happen? If we don't begin to salt the earth, if we don't begin to pre- spread the gospel and stand for the gospel, you can't just, now everybody can, you can learn the scripture, mother. We can learn it. Boy, I tell you, we get it in Sunday school, you learn it. It's, the power comes when we live it. The power comes when we live the scripture. We don't need no more cheap thrills. We don't need the bumps on our arms and oh my, oh, my hat stand away. We need some change so that the next generation can see it and the next generation can see it and the next generation can see it and the next generation can see it. We look now, we, I, 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 I said, Lord, help our young people. Who's going to carry the torch? The matriarchs are already leaving the earth realm. And some of us that fell under them is out to lunch. We forgot what we was taught. We done put the torch down and start teaching a whole nother, a whole nother doctrine, a whole nother law. Do what you feel. It's okay. You grown. It's all right. You can wear that. You can look like that. Come on. I told my daughter every trend ain't for you. Yeah, she get mad because she's a teenager. (laughs) But I said, you're going to appreciate it in the long run. Every trend, every style ain't for you. You belong to God. And so we as parents got to start taking a stand with our, our children. We can't let the children be the leader. We the leader. God has charged us to train them up in the way that they should go. Not the way they want to go. I'd rather them to be mad with me now and happy later. (laughs) Big mama and and grandma and say, you'll understand it by and by. We didn't, I, didn't, I didn't understand it then, mother. I was, but now I get it. I understand it by and by. What they was trying to tell me. But judgment is coming. We're going to be a judge according to our works. So you got to be careful how you live. Some people say, you know, they think that you don't got to live. Uh, your lifestyle don't have to match the word. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. There's many people that's feeling in churches and they're going week after week, year after year, but their lifestyle never changed. So they think they're going to heaven anyhow. Anyway. Then they have the funeral and people preach them into heaven. So they think. So, so we got to be careful on how we live. Because it will scream volumes To God when we're standing before him in judgment. You you can't fix it then. It's over with. You can't change what you did. It's done. The facts are in. And when he begins to read it off, you're going to know which way you're going. 
But see, if we live right now, if we do what he told us to do now, we can have a blessed assurance that heaven is mine. You don't have to be afraid. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of Christians that are afraid to die. But they come every week and shout. Come every week and, and, and pray. Come on. But they are afraid to die. I know it's quiet. I know. I understand. Because they don't understand yet what it means to die in God. To die in God. Oh, oh come on. You're going to gain, but you got to be already dead to this world. See, you hanging on to the things of the world and hanging on to things on the earth realm. Come on, you, you're going to be afraid to die because you ain't ready to let it go. Some people, I started out in nursing a while before I got into hair, and I would see people struggle when it was time for them to die. I've seen people say, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I've seen people say, it's hot, I don't want to go. And I said, oh my God, my heart would grieve. Death is surely coming. And if you have refused to come to God by faith, you will by default be judged and condemned by your works. Come on, God ain't playing with us. He t- he, I told you, God said he tired of us playing church. There's our degrees. When they said, I read that and I said, according to your words. So that, I said, God, there's degrees of punishment. Then I went to the book of Matthew and found out, yes, it is. Degrees. Death can result from sin. Hell will result from death. Come on, we don't want to fall short of God's glory. How long are we going to be halted between two opinions? We've been in this thing. Some of us have been here 40, 50. Come on, Eric. Five, one. But you know. How long are you going to be halted between two opinions? You know God is real. Why don't you live like he's real? Come on. You can't be just Sunday and then the next five to six days. It's not a Sunday for you. Come on, God is calling for the body of Christ to turn, to change. Come out of that low place. Shift from that place. Don't keep rejecting the glory of God. God is trying to take us somewhere. He's trying to take each one of us to another level. You should not be on the same level you were when you got born again. You should have grown by now. You should have been, come on, you should have grown by now. We shouldn't even be in the same place we were last week. We should have done grown by now. Come on, so if we ain't growing, there ain't nothing wrong with God. There's something wrong with us. It ain't nothing wrong with the church. The church still doing what it's supposed to do, standing. The pastor still doing what he's supposed to do, preaching. But what is the body of Christ doing? What are you doing to elevate your growth and get closer to the kingdom and prepare yourself to go? Come on, heaven is for prepared people. You don't just pop up and go. You have to get prepared to go. And this is why he's telling us today, come on, deny yourself. Come out of your feelings. Come out of your flesh. Come out of your emotions. They're not going to get you nowhere. It's not going to help you. Quit having pity parties. Quit looking, licking your wounds. Come on, get over the church hurt. It's over. Done. What are you going to do with this Jesus? Jesus is a healer. Come on. Jesus is a deliverer. Jesus is a way maker. He's a provider. Come on. If we pray, God will shake the very foundation. Come on. We don't have to stay in the same shape that we in. There's a way for us to escape. The word, the word, the word. There's a way for us to escape. But you got to want it. 
Quit making excuses. Quit. Cut the blame game. It's over now. Cut the blame game. It's over. Jesus not going to hear that when you stand before him. He's only going to look at his book and see what you did and what you said and why you did it. And he's going to judge you according to you. Not your wife. Not your husband. Not your children. Not the church. Not the pastor. Come on, the deacon. He's done none of that. He's talking about you. What are you allowing to sabotage your walk with God? What are you allowing? Because you know you have the power. You have the choice. You have the authority in you. So what are you allowing to sabotage your walk? I would have came, but see, they, I, I don't, they don't made me mad. But what did God call you to do? I'm not going to serve on that right there. I'm not serving right there anymore because, you know, they find it. But what did God call you to do? God didn't call a group. He called you. He charged you. So you're going to reject the glory? So you're going to reject what God is calling you to do? Judgment is coming. Don't keep rejecting God. Don't keep, hallelujah, don't keep rejecting God. And I know somebody said, I've been in church all my life. Yeah, you have. You've been in the way a long time. God's looking for you to shift now. You can't, you can't, you can't. That ain't going to sustain you no more. Where you at right now, not going to sustain you. He's telling you to come higher, come closer, come higher, come closer, come higher, come closer. You're too far, you can't hear me. You're letting things that got in your way. That stopped your ear up. You can't hear me when I'm talking to you. You can't hear me when I'm calling you. You don't let people, places, and things get in your spirit to the point that you are rejecting God. And God is calling you to come to him so he can give you rest. He want to give you peace that surpasses man's understanding. He wants you to walk in that authority that he's given you. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn it. How are you going to condemn it? With the word. The devil don't have no hold on you. Unless you give it to him. Come on. It don't have no hold on you unless you come in agreement with it. So if you agree with the word, come on, the devil got to get back. He got to get back. He can't touch you. He can't stop you. He can't hinder you. Come on. If we are believing the word. And again, we can't, I can't stress that enough. God said we can't just say it. We got to put the word in action. We got to put the word in action. There is where the power is. When the word is in action. God is so good to us. Come on, clap your hands for God. I praise God for this word. Hallelujah on today. Hallelujah. I learned uh, Pastor Hendricks a long time ago. Say what he say and move on. Amen. Amen. Don't try to add nothing. Don't try to puff it up. Just say what he say and move on. So today God is so wonderful to us.